if it's a different well, question. Nancy, I'll be amazed. Okay. Nancy, I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but we have had that discussion, in fact, at the Transportation Commission. I asked you how you felt that the Paradise Path Task Force could be rolled into the transportation. And could you reiterate what you said? Do you remember what you said at that time? Um, I'm not sure if I remember specifically. Uh, what, um, basically, what do you think? Um, well, the Transportation Commission serves at the will of the council. Right. We do what you ask us to do, and our, our topics as they are now are pretty global and include a number of things that use transportation methods of all kinds, including automobile, including truck, and including active um, bikes and feet. Um, and we have focused on pedestrian issues, especially with um, with the previous task force, the mobility. The mobility. Thank you. Yeah. The mobility task force was probably actually one of our greatest successes um, in the last two years. And when we are looking at active transportation issues, as the recent review of the strategic um, recommendations out of the multimodal plan, um, we voiced opinions about all aspects of, trans of active transportation. So what we handle now encompasses many things. Um, we don't necessarily look at the specific, the small pieces of the Paradise Path. I would say that that is true. We do look at the more global. So in light of that, then, it, I think it's fairly obvious that because it was created as a task force, that it does have a mission. It does have an importance. How can you see that if this were to be put into the transportation or rolled in as part of the Transportation Commission, that this mission of the task force, this identity would not be lost? Well, I think, I think we, we could... There are some things that would be gained and there were some things that would be lost. The things that would be gained is that it would be treated like the sidewalk program and a specific thing that can be brought to council, we can come more quickly to you. The thing that I think is most lost is something you mentioned at that meeting, which is the advocacy um, portion of the Paradise Pass Task Force. Um, I have at times sought to inject almost a advocacy role on transportation issues, and it hasn't worked very well. And I think probably because it wasn't a comfortable, it's not what we're charged with doing. Right. We're charged with creating policy suggestions. And what I would like to see more out of the Paradise Path Task Force or some groups um, is an advocacy role. Um, people that can stand up and say this is an important and good thing and these are why we su should support it and then go out and find the supporters to promote and educate and advocate and that is the thing I worry about being lost. Thank you. Walter? Uh, for Nancy while she's there and thank you for coming. Yeah. Um, Margaret mentioned that you have a two-hour meeting and don't have the time in her opinion, I presume, to handle the Paradise Path efforts. And I'm not even going to say task force because I think that, like Tom, I think that's a big part of the problem here is the mm -hmm. terminology. But when Dan and myself and Tom were on the commission, we met two hours twice a month. Mm -hmm. At a point recently or in the not distant past, you all went to once a month. I don't know whether that was because you didn't want to have to do four hours a month or you didn't have enough work for four hours a month. What about the relationship of having another focus brought to your table regarding time and energy and effort and concentration on it? It was true that we switched to once a, once a month. And one of the primary reasons was for agenda items, that we found that what we were discussing, um, sometimes we were stretching topics too thin to try to discuss them twice within a month, um, and that the month has fit what we do more appropriately. Can you, can you work in the Paradise Path um, element within your time frame? We would probably, we may be forced to, to add the second meeting back in, um, but as I've said. It double, we, your, it double your pay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I've said, we serve at the will of the council. <laughs> 
If Good asked answer. to do it, we would do it. Good answer. <laughs> um, if, if I may, please, uh, Tom, you, you brought up the name task force. And, you know, as we are all want to do with smartphones, we automatically jump on them and say, what is a task force? Right. <laughs> and and it's in this particular one, it's a unit of formation established to work on a single defined task or activity. And that certainly was, I believe, the original mission of the Paradise Path Task Force. In 11, they broadened it somewhat. Uh, I don't know whether that was because they wished to stay in business and to find other things to do or, or what, but it does. It later in the definition talks about temporary activities that might have once been performed by ad hoc committees. Um, I would like to think that regardless of what we do tonight, we get the words task force out of this thing for good, bad, or indifferent because I think it casts a, cast a question over the group about in would you say 20 years, 19 years, have they concluded that single task or activity? Mm -hmm. Tim? Uh, thank you. Uh, Nancy, I uh, thought you had some real poignant comments there uh, to Walter and Wayne's questions. Uh, and what I heard succinctly was the importance to, uh, uh, to advocate for, again, what I'll state is a real important thing, uh, the past system in, in this community as well as all other communities. Uh, I believe you suggested you thought that perhaps could be, would be lost or minimized if uh, the, uh, the Paradise Path was uh, folded into uh, either Parks or Rec or Transportation. I know you're not speaking for Parks and Rec. so. Uh, again, council people, uh, I think that's real important. Uh, I think um, the Paradise Path can advocate for the system we've got, expand the system we've got, uh, improve the system we've got. So I'm, I recommend we, we keep it, Paradise Path. Okay. So, well, I had asked... Um, who maintains the task? Who maintains the path? And Tom Grendon said, the parks, the parks department maintains the path. The, all of the path. The Heron's Hideout and the, am I, is that right? Yeah, okay. The, the Heron's Hideout and, and the part that goes up along, uh, uh, sort of parallels Mountain View Road in sections as well as the, the section that um, connects the Leita Trail and the Chipman Trail. And in trying to to work this out, this conundrum out, I uh, if it were part of tra if the if the task force were a subcommittee of transportation or part of transportation, um, you know, it, it's like transportation, okay, the streets department does the streets and some of the sidewalks and then the parks department still sweeps sidewalks in the winter, to brushes the sidewalks. So I, Parks Department can do some of the things that go with streets, and streets can do some things that go with parks. Um, and so I don't think they have to be mutually exclusive. But um, as a task force, I, real, I, real, I was thinking, because, because I don't have an exact answer for this, that the, if the Paradise Path was part of a subcommittee of transportation through the moving, you know, having input through the move on through the multimodal uh, transportation plan and then have input, specific input at the Transportation Commission for implementing the multimodal transportation plan because obviously you're waiting for the underpass to be presented uh, as part of the move on transportation plan. So that's why I want the the task force to go away. I don't want their mission to go away. And actually, Walter, I think from the original mission, which talked about the bird watching and the everything else, I think they narrowed it more towards transportation in 2011. I think that, that the um, mission statement was actually narrowed more. So I still think the task force should be dissolved. And then how we get their mission accomplished, that's what I want to see accomplished. I don't want it to take another 19 years. Okay. Tom, did I see your finger up a minute ago? 
I, I, I'll wait. Okay. Um, Walter? I, I strongly feel that every council person up here, and I know the mayor does, feels that the Paradise Path group uh, had a mission, has done a lot toward that mission, but still has work to do. I'm not going to propose that, hey, they were organized, they did their thing, yeah, it took them 19 years, but they got done. Uh, I'm not really going to say that. Um, for staff, if I may, Bill and, and um, Rod, if we were to make them a commission, that's going to require a city ordinance, I, I believe, correct me when I go wrong, because our commissions are established by ordinance and would have to have the appropriate verbiage regarding size, uh, who can be on the commission, um, all of the different details. So that, I had, a, I had a thought of, oh, let's make them a commission for a year, call them back in here in 12 months and <laughs> ask them, how'd you, how'd you do? Well, if we create a commission and the answer is, well, we couldn't get a quorum and we kind of fiddled with this and we're waiting on that and we said, Meep, you're out of here. Then we've got to undo a commission that we created. So Sue a moment ago uh, made a comment about a subcommittee. And I know y'all were talked about as a subcommittee of Parks and Rec, but I had not heard a subcommittee of transportation until Sue a moment ago. I wonder if that would not be a, a way to do a one-year, do your thing, come back and explain to us how you did your thing, what you've accomplished, what you need to accomplish, and let the council in a year look at that and decide, does it continue as a subcommittee? Is it folded into transportation? Is it created a new commission? Uh, whoever's point about do we have commissions for sidewalks, I thought was valid as well. So to, to move this, and let's see what happens with this, I would make a motion, Madam Mayor, that the Paradise Path Task Force, as currently constituted, be reconstituted as a subcommittee of the Moscow Transportation Commission and that that they report back to this body in 12 months' time reporting on what has occurred during that year, what they've worked on, what they've accomplished, what they decided they didn't want to do, what they would like to still do. Uh, and that would be my motion. Just a question for you, uh, clarification then. What's the uh, membership of the Transportation Commission as established by uh, ordinance at this point? Is a nine, member nine members. Seven members currently on the so that would allow for a subcommittee of two members of the Paradise Path Task Force, which is? No, in my opinion. So, so, and that's, I was going to ask a clarifying point by Walter, whether these would actually be the the current Paradise Path Task Force members, would they actually be members of the commission that require amendment of the ordinance or be more like the active living task force that was more of a short-term body that did have representation from the Transportation Commission but had a very, uh, but was not, you know, were not members of the Transportation Commission themselves? Well, we and so force. the question is what's the difference between that and the Paradise Path That's Task Force as it exists right now? 